congratulations on your uh, your Emmy nomination. How does Thank it feel you. to be recognized for your work on Idol? It's exciting to, you know, see your name uh, on television red early in the morning, and uh, it's always fun to go. I kind of have dual roles this year where I get to host the red carpet and then sit in a seat, so it's cool. So this is the second voice that you've set up. Can you tell us about it? This is the second voice studio that we've set up. The first one was in Atlanta, my hometown, and it's a radio TV studio designed to broadcast into all the hospital rooms in the building for the kids. And they can come be the hosts and do the interviews and meet the celebrities that come by and uh, really take control of it. Can you tell me what gave you the idea to do this? The idea was trying to figure out a way to lift spirits for sick kids. Uh, and this was something that I know how to do, and uh, I started as a disc jockey and in a radio studio like this, and I thought, well, let's put this in there and create an energy, and that's what we're doing. Um, how many are you hoping to build total? Do you think you can get one in every hospital? It would be great to get one in every hospital across the country. Uh, I, I certainly have a goal to put them all over the country. So it's uh, Atlanta, Philadelphia. We're going to do one in Boston as well, and uh, I hope to grow with every year. Do you think that kids like uh, the chance to, to work on these? Why, why do you think that is? Well, what I've noticed, and uh, I'm always impressed by these kids because they're so courageous, um, but I, I've talked to them, and, and some of them are here for a long time, and they run out of things to do. And so hopefully this is a good diversion and distraction and gives them something fun to participate in and something to do. Um, it takes their mind off of what they're going through. Um, what about the fact that one of these kids maybe could be your replacement one day? I would love to find one of these kids who could be on air. It would be great. I could use an hour off. So it, it, would, be, it would be fun to, to tap into some undiscovered talent. And when you get to know these kids in any city, they've got outgoing, charismatic personalities. So we'll probably discover a star or two. Okay, real quick, uh, what's the deal with J-Lo? Well, what's the deal with j -Lo? Yeah, do you think she's coming back next season? I hope she's coming back next season. I really do. I think that uh, we had remarkable chemistry with a new group of judges, and uh, it would be my wish that we get an announcement soon from Jennifer that she's coming back. Randy and Steven, I believe, will be uh, there. I, I've already started. I'm already touring the country and uh, meeting with the producers in the arenas with the contestants. But we're psyched. I mean, we were thrilled that the show did better last year than it did in years past. So, uh, and thank you for that. Um, and obviously we are getting started. Um, are you looking forward to really getting back into it? Yeah, I think with, with each year we uh, go out and we, st we start to say to ourselves, what are we looking for? And then we realize we can't, we can't guess what it is that we're going to try and find. We wouldn't have guessed we were going to find Scotty McCreary last year, but we ended up with that kind of a winner. So the best thing for us to do is just open the door and see what we find. Tell me how, uh, how Ryan got to involved. How did you get involved? Um, I, I love Ryan. Ryan has been so supportive of me throughout the start of my career and he plays my music and he's just really been protective over me so whenever he asks things of me I definitely am always usually down but this was an amazing cause I actually didn't even know exactly what it was that he did because I think that's great that that all of the things that he does and you don't really realize it how generous he is so of course when he asked me to be a part of it I was absolutely honored I think what I appreciate most is, is the honesty that I get from kids. I, I, I feel like they're able to confide in me, which is really wonderful. Like through my show and through my music, they're able to find something within there that I can connect with them. So it's just really sweet, and if anything, they're just honest with me. So it's just nice to have conversations with them. Congratulations on the uh, Emmy nomination. Of course, for, yeah. Place. How, how did you celebrate? What did you feel? Uh, I actually found out during rehearsals, so I was very excited. My cast is ecstatic, and it's our third year being nominated, um, so we've won every year, so hopefully this year will be our, our third row.